Thank you, Steve. We are another step closer to our big reveal moment. Right now, I am standing where travelers take their first official steps into the country. Now, there are two things that you will notice throughout this entire reveal celebration. Number one, the scale of this facility is stunning. It mirrors the mountains that surround us, like Mount Rainier to the south and the Olympics to our west. Second, this building is smart, efficient, and sustainable. There is genius happening behind the scenes to make your travel intuitive. Just beyond here, for example, sky-high windows instinctively draw you forward. It's one of the many simple transitions to make your travel experience effortless. But the thing that will get the most attention, as it should, is the iconic passenger walkway. It is one of a kind. It is the world's largest walkway over an active taxi lane, extending 780 feet. On end, that's taller than the Space Needle. The 85-foot clearance underneath means a 747 can pass under it with plenty of room to spare. Before we reveal the rest of the building, we want to show you what it took to build a sustainable facility and to introduce you to some of the people who made this project a reality. Yeah, I, I remember uh, a first legitimate business trip, Seattle-Tacoma to Narita. And I do remember coming home on that flight and uh, feeling, geez, this is a bit quaint. When I first came, it wasn't so good. It hadn't really been a big thing up until there. You know, I mean, we were a fishing place and, and made airplanes, and that was kind of what we did. As time progressed, once we got the international facilities, then we started talking to other airlines about, would you like to come to Seattle? So when our facility was built in the 1970s, we had about 80 million passengers, and now we're over 50. So the airport knew what do we need to do to satisfy international travel growth? And in the last five years, international travel growth has been the fastest growing segment of air service. A year ago, we were doing revenues of $8 billion that are travel and tourism related. So it is such an important part of the fabric of the economy in the Northwest and certainly in Seattle and King County. And I think any international arrival facility should reflect the culture and provide a really distinct sense of place. The good projects are always, you know, continue to unravel and, and show its connections. So I feel like this has been one of those projects where that continues to happen and I'm very grateful for that. My name is Manela Zacarias. I am originally from Mexico City, but I've lived in the U.S. for over 20 years. I always was painting, you know, and, and drawing, and that's why my mom would, like, buy me art supplies, and it manifested early and never went away. When I was, you know, a senior, like, I graduated, and then all my friends, all my peers, ended up being out of school for three years because of a student strike. And so I started learning English, so that I could pass all the tests to apply to college. And then I applied and I got into Kenyon College in Ohio. And I started really just delving into the physicality of the work and making and painting. And, and that's where my sculptures arise. And, then, and now I've been doing that for about 10 years. But I also discovered a new way of telling the same stories that I wanted to tell. This has allowed me to be like, free and open to what's coming and to what I have to give, you know? If, so, if there's one thing I have learned in the last couple of years, it's like never say never. <laughs> and just be open, you know, to, to what comes up. I think there's always been an intrigue with our part of the world and our city. Travel and tourism has been the fourth largest industry, not only in our city and, and county, but the state of Washington. 
there's a real beauty and drama to the approach to SeaTac when you're in the air uh, with the water, the mountains, the forests. And that idea of that connection to the landscape continues throughout the passenger experience. So that idea from sort of sky all the way down to the ferns is part of the immersing uh, people into the experience of the Northwest. The new facility completely redefines the international passenger arrival experience. The facility is composed of three elements. First is a 780 foot long pedestrian walkway that bridges over an active taxiway. Second is a secure corridor that links four flexible domestic international gates. And those then both connect into a new arrivals hall with uh, expanded baggage claim, CBP customs, and CBP offices. Biggest challenge for me on this project was absolutely the logistics. We're one of the busiest airports in the country, and we just absolutely could not shut down a big portion of the airfield at once. This is one of the biggest projects in the history of this airport. This project is important not just because it provides the facilities that our passengers need, but also because of the economic impact that it has on the region. And whenever you're ready. We are in the middle of the runway at about 1.30 in the morning. Right now we're at Taxiway J, or Taxiway Juliet as we call it here in the airfield. The bridge is coming just approaching to us. It's made the turn from the cargo area around the corner onto the center runway. It's going at about two miles per hour, so its progress is doing really well at this point. Our center runway is about two miles, a little bit less than two miles long. The entire trip for the bridge is about 2.9 miles from the cargo area down to the south satellite. Well, we've transported it with Mammut's help in their transport system from the off-site fabrication area. Then we transported the walkway down the runway. Once we got it close, I used the total station to line it up directly below its intended position. As we began to hoist with the strand jacks, we monitored the deflection in the side spans to make sure they were coming down to the correct elevation. Once we checked to make sure that everything was looking good, it took about four hours to lift the piece all the way into its final position. This is truly a unique project given the complexity in the structure. This bridge is a one-of-a-kind engineering feat, and it's a very exciting project to be a part of. And I'm proud to have a team of experts that have been assembled to put this together in a truly collaborative team environment with both Clark and the Port of Seattle. COVID was really stopped everything. We had to reassess all of our priorities. We had to really look at our workers and all the contractors and our workforce was safe and continuing those important projects. Well, I'll tell you, it was tough. All of a sudden, you're an essential worker and you're told, being told to go to work. It's a deadly pandemic you've never seen before, right? And it's frightening. This project has had a great impact on small businesses, vendors, and suppliers from across our region. We've had over 250 suppliers, vendors, and subcontractors on the project, over 175 of which were small businesses. We've had some really great goals for apprenticeship. Of those goals, 15% for apprenticeship overall, and we hit 21.5% of total hours filled by apprentices. I am so grateful for the hard work and dedication of all of the workers. Where there's a will, there's a way, and our commitments remain the same. All of it is just amazing. We have had thousands of workers working 24-7 on that project, and I couldn't be any prouder of them. We threw everything at the workers who are completing this project right now, and they were up to the challenge and have created an extraordinarily beautiful facility. They have worked on something that will be here for generations to come, and I want to really thank them for their tremendous work.
when I looked at the site, I thought about, you know, looking at mountain ranges or, or thinking of water moving, thinking about the ocean. I wanted it to be welcoming, but I also wanted to mirror like the force of nature that inhabits Seattle and its surroundings. The title of the work is Chalchitlique, who is the goddess of water as it collects on Earth, like rivers and oceans and lakes. When I was asked to do this, I mean, it was a great honor to be able to create these works that are permanent for such a prominent space in Seattle and for all the people that are from here. So I wanted to do something honoring these land and these bodies of water and also acknowledging all the tribes that lived here before us and all the people that have enjoyed these waters before us. I think that being part of Mexico, New York, Seattle, at the same time really has enriched my life. You know, all these places and all these communities and what we learn from them are never like really in conflict, but really become a bigger network. And it allows me to feel very connected to these different parts at the same time. And I think that the more we do that as humans, the more we understand that there's no other that we are all part of the same kind of fabric and allows to understand yourself as part of a more connected world. There could not be more excitement from our industry for this new facility, because it's gonna be a game changer. They've had lots of challenges along the way. So there's some been incredible uh, challenges to overcome, but also some groundbreaking uh, engineering happening as well to make it all happen. This project has been amazing. It's definitely a project of a lifetime. And this bridge is unique. It's a one of a kind. There's nothing else like it in the world. It has been extremely gratifying to see all of the ideas and all of the hard work that everybody has put in during the design phase finally coming to life and finally being realized so that it's something that, you know, the traveling public can actually take advantage of. I'm forever connected to Seattle. Like this is part of us now and and it's always going to be with me. I, I feel like I've always, I will always be connected to the city. But you know, you get only one opportunity to form a first impression. It should really say, this is what this region or this country or this city is all about.